down Mariano. You, you limited Deng, you limited Abdullah as well. It was only Fortuna who really was able to step up. How did you focus on those three guys? Was there anything specific to really limit their main three scorers? Nothing different from last game. The only thing is if you are able to slow down a couple of them, the other two will get scoring. So uh, we were just really fortunate today. We played good defense. We played good defense the whole year, actually. And the defense really stu stood up for us in this game. Coach, talk about the last few plays. Kiefer Ravenna again hit a huge shot to seal the win. Talk about the confidence you've entrusted to a second-year player. He was last year's Rookie of the Year. Yes, he was a key component last year. But talk about how fast he has matured into a vital cog and even the closer for this year's team. Well, TJ, I think any great team has to have a closer. You have to have somebody that you can give the ball to when the game is on the line who can make big shots. And since Keeper arrived to the college team, he's been that man for us. Even last year, he was making big shots for us. We feel very comfortable putting the ball in his hands at the end game. And once again, he delivered. Well, Coach, in the last four years, every time we've interviewed you on the floor, I kept asking you and putting you on the spot, what are your thoughts about going for another one next year? This time around, we know you will not be around. What are your thoughts about leaving this squad? We know Greg's leaving, we know Nico's leaving. What, what do you think will Ateneo have left in the tank to carry them on and try to you know, forge their way through at least into the Final Four and hopefully to the finals for them? Well, I think the foundation's there. They still have a lot of good players coming back. They have Keeper Ravenna coming back for number one. We have some good recruits coming in, but you know, college basketball is all about recruitment. So the new coach is going to have to get out there and do what I did. He's going to have to go out there and try to find good players who are willing to study and who, who can help the program. Well, Coach, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure watching you do history. Five straight championships for Coach Norman Black. Let's head over to Boom. Thank you very much, TJ. We're here with Nico Salva. Obviously, Nico, a very emotional moment for you. This is your last game wearing blue. But come on, five championships for you. That's not a bad deal, right? Not bad, not bad at all. Um, I never thought I'd get five championships here in Ateneo, so I just feel uh, very thankful and blessed, and this is just unbelievable. All right, talk about you. We're talking about UST and the series and how physically draining this was. Talk about that. Um, I told you earlier that in five years here in Ateneo, this, this was the closest series of all. So um, I give them a lot of credit. They're a great team. Um, they're going to do so much better next year. And I just, uh, I just tip my hat to them. It's hard to follow up your game number one performance with another one like that one. But I know it all boils down to the win. But how would you assess your game today? Well, I'm sure they made some adjust adjustments. I'm sure um, they tried to focus on me on some aspects. So coming to the game, I just told myself that I just want to win. I don't care what happens. I just want to win. Nico, it was a pleasure covering your career for five years. Congratulations. Well deserved. And we'll see you in a bit. We'll take a break. We'll be back more here at the Araneta Coliseum. back here at the Araneta Coliseum for the awarding ceremonies here on Studio 23. Now, let's call on uh, our board of trustees here in the UAP to join us as we award first runner-up. We call on UAP 75 President, Mr. Jose Nilo J. Ocampo, Mr. Janelle Bakuli, our UAP Secretary Treasurer, 
Also, Mr. Richard Palou. Also, Emmanuel P. Fernandez. Mr. Enrique Jose R. Ataide. We also, oh, there we go, that's our board members, our board of trustees for the UAP to award our first runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be contenders for years to come. Let's give a big round of applause. What an awesome season for our first runner-up, the USD Growling Tigers. We call on Mr. Louis Gutierrez, president of Silverworks, to give out our symbolic rings later. USD, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the finals, and we might see them back again next year. An intact lineup, let's... Let's call on the coaching staff of USD also. Also, let's give a big round of applause to Melo Afuang and Jeric Fortuna. They end their UAP career. It was a pleasure watching you guys play. Congratulations, USD. And also, thank you very much for sticking around to receive the first runner-up trophy class act the USD Growling Tigers give them a big round of applause thank you all right we we now are going to award the champions but first we call Mr. Louis Gutierrez, the president of Silverworks, to give out the symbolic championship ring to the Ateneo Blue Eagles. He is accompanied by Ms. Bambi Donato, marketing manager of Silverworks, Ms. Mimi Magnayet, Ms. Milet Marvida, marketing assistant of Silverworks, and Mr. Pico Roberto, the managing director of Mediacom. Ladies and gentlemen, we award five straight years. Eighth overall title. Congratulations to the 75th season champions, the Ateneo de Manila University Blue Eagles. They get their trophy, they get their medallions. They get their trophy, they get their medallions. Also, they accept the symbolic championship ring courtesy of Silverworks. Thank you very much, Mr. Luis Gutierrez. The trophy, medallions, and our symbolic championship ring from Silverworks. Probably the toughest of all five championships. But they get to the top of the mountain nevertheless for the fifth straight year.